This is my very first prototype of the Ford GT race car in scale 1 to 20. It is, as I said, very early in the design phase, but I completed a full car. And in this video, we are going to look at the details of this model, especially those details that I really don't like and want to improve. And then we are going to tear it apart to see how it is built. Starting with the front. As you can see, it has this nice curved nose, and I first tried to do it using this kind of flex hose, but it turns out there's another solution to making this. And you can just pick the nose part, then you can see the plates here are simply pushed because LEGO allows for this kind of flex. And what I do not like about this front is the opening down here. It's a bit too shallow compared to the real car, it should be wider. And the headlights should be rounder with more of this blue surround that right now I only really put in a 1x2 tile down here. And there should really be more around the headlights. We're going to go into these air scoops in the front. So air goes in through here and out here in the real car. There's a bit more white surrounding here. But as you can see, the tires are tree wide, so they kind of intrude on this space that I have, which means it's quite difficult to do anything here and make more wide inside of the car. But let's see if that can be improved anyway. Moving on to the sides, the real car has a bit less of the blue, but in order to get these curves and the slope here in the front, I've kind of decided that this will do. What you can see on the side that is a bit weird is that this part here is completely flat. On the real car, it should be slightly tilted, so I should find a way in which to make this slope. And of course, also make sure that this part doesn't just open up. I do like how the real car is completely with a line going from the doors to the back and I tried to recreate here, it here in this model but if we move to the back you can see that this is supposed to be a rear window but these grills here on the sides should also just flow along the sides and I don't think I've accomplished that in this first prototype. Another thing is that here you can see a lot of studs which kind of clashes with the rest of the design because it is mostly yeah, studless and it would be nice if the rear had less studs as well. The flying buttresses are quite successful. They are just hinged here from the roof and I'll show you later how that is done. And if we move on to the back, my favorite detail is that you have the diffuser here making a smile. It's quite difficult to do, but I can show that trick as well. And the real lights, instead of just being one by ones, I've used mini thick heads and made sure that the face, let's see if you can see it. See there's a little face there on the lower side? Well, that is because they are from mini figs that look like sharks and they fit quite nicely as real lights. And now let's tear it up. So first of all, how are these headlights mounted like this? Because they're like half a stud up and stuff like that. But it's not that complicated if we just open it like this, take out the guards here on this side. Then you can see it's one of these old hinges that you can't get anymore. Simply mounted using a jumper plate. And the wheel got the right distance from the body by using a Technic gear with eight teeth. Underneath the windscreen we have where most of the snot work resides. So the windscreen you can see it's mounted like this in order to be flush with the roof. Nothing spectacular there. But if you look at how the flying buttresses are mounted you can see oops, that down here we have a connection that moves 
us half a plate down, and then a connection down there that moves us a bit in that direction before we mount the buttresses on the hinges here. And that also coincides with what we can put on the rear window so that everything up here is completely flush to the bodywork or the roof when we put that on. That took a long time to do, but I like the result. I promised to show you how this was done and we are simply using this old trick. So a lot of one by one plates round and then you can make a nice curved feature like that. The rear wing is just mounted so it can push it down like that. Of course you can't do that on the real car but that's how that is done. And if you take a look at the rear lights how did they get mounted there in the middle? Well, that's because they are simply lying on airlings right here. And this is also where you can see that it's really difficult to make this part more shallow because we have the wheel that is three studs wide. And in reality, it should only be two, but Lego unfortunately doesn't make a wheel in that width. Also here in the back, you can see this part is just plate and it would be nice if I could make a nice surround here that didn't stick up with a plate in the middle but actually surround it properly. I'll take a look at that. And that is the teardown of the Ford GT race car. I want to build all of the race cars for the Le Mans category, the LMP GTE Pro. And this is just one of the six cars that are going to race this year. And if you think there's some things I didn't mention in this video that could be improved on this car, then please just comment below or write me an email if you don't want it public and then I'll take it into consideration and improve this car. Thank you.